Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? We are already in your debt. <laughs> Did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? Hello and welcome, or welcome back. If you're returning, my name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe, because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, because that super helps us out. Small announcement, we are working towards 800 subscribers. Once we get there, we're going to have a super special, super amazing live stream, where we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be drawing art of your Final Fantasy characters, or, I don't know, anything safe for work. Gonna do little headshots. Gonna be fun time. So make sure you do subscribe if you have not done that yet. Something definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what we missed. Do I need help? Oh, I'll be fine. It's nothing that won't heal. You should go after these. I remember you. You're the one who saved me from the Dolan Catchers. Thanks to you, we managed to rescue the fishermen and the, my kidnapped comrades, one of whom joined the Confederacy with me long ago. It would have broken my heart to have had to bury him. Oh, and if you're looking for the captain, you'll find him in the tavern. Oh, let's see. Uh, the tavern. Can I just jump down? Will it kill me? Thank you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but fell and could not regain my feet. I thought for sure that we would all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. I never thought I would see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. Back already? What have you learned? At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should find Lise and speak with him together. My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gosetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time, until it became clear that their Corjian reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a halfwit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. We got you, Holmes. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> An impossible claim, yet one spoken with such conviction that I cannot choose but believe it. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. 
Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? All right. You did well, Bert. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if anyone could win them over, it would be you. Truly, yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Young Xia and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me. We're following the leader, wherever he may go. Interesting. Meanwhile, on the shores of Arthur. <gasps> Look at all that treasure. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap nowhere is. If thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsuyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? This is not good. It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Well, there's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! It's no good. There's just no joy in it. Seriously? No release. There, there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single doorman. here one of the vaunted treasures of the red the craftsmanship is certainly impressive mayhap we can use it to make amends how long before lord xenos reinstates me do you reckon i've got unfinished business back in aeosia Having me really so unbearable? At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, 
Then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. I'm not one to uh, kick shame or anything, but uh, this lady is. She's really messed up. The world map. This is so old school. <gasps> ah. I remember the silence. How the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. I love this. This is so cool. Before us stood yet another wall. And through a great Magitech field, we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope. So much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. Yes, this is far enough. <clears throat> Ere we proceed further, I should speak of young Sia and be what became of her, of what lies beyond that great wall at the heart of Doma. And we should be glad to hear it, but is it wise for us to have conversation here on the road, out in the open? Once your caution should be warranted, but no longer. Zenos did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yatsuyu to act in his stead and quit these lands for a fresh sport. The acting viceroy was no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march, march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then, as quickly as they had come, they left. Satisfied that the memory of the purges would keep the people in line, she relaxed her grip on Yangxia. What need for the leash when the dog is broken? The village of Nabai lies to the west. Though I doubt the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. There she is, the humble village of Nabai. How delicious her rice, how sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes, and for a mercy the Imperials appear to be absent. Let no man claim that I am reckless. Prudence has ever been my watchword. Burr, venture closer if you would, and confirm that there are no soldiers looking about. Ugh, I'll give it to you because you just got beaten. Apparently, everybody gets one. We may be in luck. I don't see a single Imperial soldier. At least Alizé came with me. <laughs> then there is no need to remain hidden. Let us go and greet them as friends. I'm going too. Good people of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information to learn of recent events. He just walks in there and is like, hello, I am me. Isn't that the general? Lord Gorsetsu, can't we preserve your right? He lives. I say, brothers and sisters, is all to miss? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Ah, but of course. You fear me a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, naught could be further from the truth. For am I not corporeal? 
are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> what should we do? If they catch him here, you know what will happen. Of all the times for him to turn up. Has the old fool lost his mind? Well, who that? It's Flackles. You! But... Why have you come here? What do you want from us? I know not who you are to speak thus to your elders, boy, but mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveller, not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful shade. What? What you going on about? Actually, never mind, just come with me, now! Explain yourself. I don't know who you people think you are, but do you have any idea what would happen to us if you were found in our village? Again, you address us with unwarranted spite. I have let your impropriety pass until now, but no longer. Who are you, boy, to speak to me thus? Know you not who I am? I am Issei of Namai, a farmer like my father before me, and his father before him. I wouldn't expect a man like you to know who I am, but I know you. We all do. Lord Kayan's retainer and leader of the rebellion, Gosetsu, notorious fugitive, wanted dead or alive by the Empire. Oh, that explains some things. <laughs> is that what this is all about? I am hardly the first man to earn the ire of the Empire, nor will I be the last. Was not the my home to brave and true warriors who fought beneath our banners for king and country? They fought, and they died, every last one, and then the Imperials came looking for more because of them. They were this close to killing us all, to burning our village to the ground. We've only just begun to enjoy some semblance of peace. Never again. Never again, do you understand? We've had enough of you and yours. Whatever it is you're plotting, leave us out of it. Hmm. Impassioned as his pleas may be, surely he must know that I cannot leave things as they are. But for now, I shall respect his wishes. We must continue on towards our final destination. The House of the Fierce, proud headquarters of the Dolmen Liberation Front. There is a secret entrance to the north of Namai by way of a small spring. Come, I will show you. Well, dang, can't even give us some rice. What? Hojo! No, Joe. Whoa, whoa. This way, this way. We must dive into the water. He wants us to go swimming. Have no fear, Burr. It is but a short distance. You need not hold your breath for long. <laughs> this insane man. You coming, Alize? And there I was thinking our swimming days were behind us. You okay, bud? Ha, ha, ha. How invigorating. Congratulations, my friends. You are come to the House of the Fierce. You are Berlin, are you not? We were told of your coming. Heroes of Eorzea, we of the Dome and Liberation Front are honored to receive you. If you would be so good as to follow me. Oh no! The crystal? Oh dang. This is the House of the Fears, but there are so few of them. Many kindred spirits remain in hiding following the rebellion. Many others gave their lives for their nation. We are a stubborn remainder. Even accounting for our comrades in the field, we are at a fraction of our former strength, tis true. Yet we few are patriots. Brothers in arms, prepared to fight with every fiber of our being to set our people free. Ever are we hopeful that others will join our cause, but never did I dream that you would journey so far. Yukiri! 
gods, it's good to see you. You look great, by the way. Have you been here long? This is so funny. We found I returned her. but recently, having concluded my mission. Oh, it is good to see you again, my friends. Did I hear aright? Your mission is concluded? Then you have found the young master. Ere we speak of that, I would know by what fortuitous circumstance our friends came to be here. The Empire's crimes are all too familiar. Lys, my heart goes out to your people. We wanted to stay and fight, believe me, but we knew it wouldn't work. We needed more time to rebuild, and more allies to stand with us against the Empire. So we decided to come here and help you free Doma. To show you, to show everyone that you're not alone, and that the Garleans can be beaten if we work together. I'd like to think we proved that in the Ruby Sea. That you did, Lise, and far more besides. Needless to say, your assistance would be most welcome. Hear, hear! Now then, Yugiri, you must tell me of your search for our master. Lest you wonder, he speaks of Lord Hien, son of Lord Kayen, who perished during the rebellion. When it became clear that all hope of victory had gone, Lord Hien bade us deliver as many of our people as we could to safety beyond our borders. But as his father's heir, he was determined to fight on, and so he did, until he suffered a grievous wound in battle and vanished without a trace. Until now. For I have found Lord Hien, seen and spoken with him, on the Azim Steppe. O oh, boundless and merciful Kami! The young master lives! Tell me, was he well? Did his wound yet ail him? Where is he now? Have you brought him back to us? You may take comfort in the knowledge that he is hale and whole. However, when I invited him to return with me to Doma, he had this to say. If Doma yet thirsts for the blood of patriots and tyrants, I shall offer unto her my blade. But if she has had her fill of bitter draughts, I shall offer unto her conquerors my head. Thrice did I declare to him that no true son or daughter of Doma would ever accept such a sacrifice. But for all my passion, he would not be swayed. Learn the truth of her heart and return to me, he said. And so I left him. words of one made to wear the mantle of leadership too soon. Yet there is wisdom in them all the same. If the people no longer yearn to be free, it would be folly to rekindle the fires of war. To suffer our master, to surrender his life and forsake all hope of freedom is by far the greater folly. I will not go to face my fallen comrades having done naught to stop it. Nor I, Shadow Walker, nor I. But we need not rouse our comrades to battle this day. Let us instead welcome our honored guests and allow them a moment of respite. Okay, so that was a lot, but okay, that's good. Their master is still alive. As you can see, they went to great lengths to disable the Aetherite. Apparently, in the twilight days of the Rebellion, they feared that Xenos would be willing to risk sending unattuned conscripts. That said, it is hardly irreversible. They have the necessary materials. It would be a challenge to repair it alone, but may have with my brother's help. You should hear this, Burr. He was just telling me about Xenos and the Rebellion. What you have to understand is that it was not a simple matter of numbers. The bulk of the twelfth never even took the field. Anyway, it was Xenos' stratagems that won the war. They were unlike anything we'd ever seen. His formations were unorthodox, bewildering. We honestly thought we had him on the back foot. 
One moment we were pressing home our advantage, the next we were surrounded and at his mercy. And then he stood before us, his cornered prey, alone and unarmed. He beckoned us to come forward and fight for our lives. One by one, my comrades charged, fearless and unflinching. He would dance amidst their blades for a time, and then draw close, as if to embrace. One after another, he made us watch. Do you understand? He made us watch. What kind of monsters enjoy killing people? I do not think there was any joy in it, nor justice, nor morality, nor meaning. To him, the weight of one life is no different from that of a thousand. A challenge had been issued and was accepted, but on finding us no challenge at all, his objective changed. There were tales of Imperial soldiers being flayed for slaughtering families, for breaking brave men's spirits. Only later did I come to understand why. He did not desire obedience. He desired hate, and men consumed by it. A new battle, a new enemy, a new challenge. The hunt, I am told he called it. A hunt without end. He seems like a nice guy. And while in all our best lay dead and broken, he left. He left muttering that we had bored him. But our weapons at least held his interest, for he took a fallen samurai sword, having grown fond of it. Since that day, he has ever wielded Far Eastern blades. He is said to be fascinated by ones with such storied histories, and so soldiers who seek to curry his favor often present those of defeated enemies as gifts. It's like it's all a game to him. People are suffering, dying, and he's collecting swords? We all feel the same, but my lady, you must understand. On the battlefield, reasons do not matter. The victor is not the just, but the strong, and the strong become the heroes of the tale. We were not strong enough. It is not sufficient to be right, to be just. Without strength, our path is but one end. Mayhap a brief respite. Respite. Respite is an order. Were I twenty years younger, these wounds would not warrant a second glance. Alas, no samurai has the strength to defeat that old villain old age. But what say you to the House of the Fierce? Compared to your rising stones, I concede it may some seem somewhat lacking. But it has been a haven these past ten years to all who had set Doma free. Regrettably, our efforts in that time have come to little and less. When the Empire Emperor died, we were so sure that the hour of our liberation was at hand, but Zeno soon put paid to that, with the aid of Yatsuyu and the secrets she sold. Burr, I do hope you have taken this opportunity to rest and recover. It is well that you spoke with one of the survivors of that massacre. To defeat one's foe, one must first understand his true nature. As the other vegan resistance has struggled, so too has the Dolmen Liberation Front. More so, perhaps, given the precarious position in which we find ourselves in the wake of our doomed rebellion. We are few, and our enemies legion. We are weak, and they are strong. Yet with your help, I believe that there is little we cannot achieve. I only hope the depth of our predicament has not shaken your commitment to our cause. You relish the thought of facing that monster again. But of course, the hero of Eorzea fears no foe. We're gonna let the Dark Knight come out on that one. Now then, I should be glad to discuss our next course of action. Though now that I think on it, I myself have been away from Doma for some time, and even after my return, the search for Lord Hien commanded my full attention. Mayhap it would be to both of our benefit if we were to see the reality of Doma for ourselves. For did my lord not bid me learn the truth of her heart? Let us do this together, Burr. Let us go among the people and with our own eyes bear witness to their hardship. As a foreigner in these lands, your reputation does not precede you. Moreover, unlike Gosetsu, I can accompany you without attracting unwanted attention. I'd like to join you, if that's alright. By all means, we should be glad of your company and your perspective. The Mai is not far. I say we begin there. Wait, they saw us with him in the mine, so I don't know about that. Cute. 
Ah, but I'm glad to see that you two put thought into your garments, given the covet nature of our activities. What? If that's sarcasm, I can't tell. I should think my reason's obvious. To enter the village while wearing the garb of the shinobi would be beyond reckless. We shall pose as traveling merchants. Burr is our leader, and we as her assistants. Are there any objections? I am not really the merchant type, but if you think this is the best way to go about it, I'll trust you. Then without further ado, let us begin. Weren't you the one who came with the general? No? Hmm, I see. My mistake. It warms my heart to see traveling merchants in Dubai again. Though the Imperials never sealed our borders, folks like you have taken to avoiding Ixia ever since the rebellion. Unfortunately, that has only made it harder for us to survive. You may have noticed, but we lack for a great many things. It was not much better before, tr true, but it has only gotten worse. You, a merchant? Forgive me my skepticism, but you strike me less a woman of commerce and more a common sellsword. I stand corrected! Such a warm and cordial nature you possess. I pray you forgive me my earlier rudeness. It has been some time since the Viceroy came to our village to purge it of insurgents. Those who resisted suffered terribly, and those who did not fared a little better. We who remained no better than to risk her life. Her ire. If the Imperials demand laborers, we comply. If they demand conscripts to send us soldiers to other provinces, we obey. Ours is a difficult life, with little in the way of luxuries. I know not what you sell, Richard, but I doubt that I, or anyone else here, can afford it. A traveling merchant with meat, perchance? Bah, better not to know when I have so little coin. I feel your eyes upon me. You know not the lupin. Surely you have not been long in Anxia, else you would. For generations we served the lords of Doma, compassionate and wise as they were, but the memories of such times fade with every passing day, as others will tell you. I know, the Lupin. Foreign peddlers, in the Mai. Whatever it is you sell, I have no money to buy. Perhaps you should go elsewhere. Saying that, I know of you no village in Yangtze that has fared any better. Once I would have directed you to the samurai lords of Monzen, had they not all died in battle or in the purges. There is the Dome and Enclave, of course, but that lies beyond the Daryu moon gates. Needless to say, the Imperials are disinclined to let anyone but their own pass. There we go. Burr, what have you learned? Lisa and I encountered much of the same. They have been pushed beyond the brink. I expected frustration and disillusionment, but not so much that they would come to question the wisdom of opposing Imperial rule in the first place. Unless we could convince them otherwise, I fear I cannot convince Lord Hien to return, and without him. What am I doing out here? Oh, looking for flowers. I need some for my parents' graves. The ones my brother and I usually bring are yellow, because it was my mother's favorite color. You haven't seen any, have you? Oh, now I have to get yellow flowers. Mm. Only yellow ones will do. Mother wouldn't have wanted anything else. We buried them on a cliff to the west of the village. There's a path through the, the terraces. I'll show you. Here, just give me a moment to put down the flowers and I'll introduce you. My heart. They love to meet travelers and hear tales of faraway places. Maybe you could tell them one about your homeland. Azami! Azami! Are you there? Azami! Uh oh. What in the. You should not be here! Get away from my sister! I thought it was gonna be him who was her brother. Don't be so rude! She saved me from monsters, brother. She even helped me pick flowers for mother and father. Go back to the village. Now. You, you're scaring me. I said go. Stay inside and lock the door until I return. Don't think me ungrateful. My sister is the only family I have. If you saved her, then... Thank you. But it changes nothing. I asked you to leave, and now I'm asking you again. I'm not going to report you to the Imperials or anything stupid like that. But it's too dangerous for you to stay here. So please, I'm begging you. Just leave us alone. So she told, did she? Yes, that's right. <laughs> My mother and father believed in the rebellion. They left to fight for Lord Cayenne. They came home on a cart driven by Imperial soldiers. The soldiers demanded that the families of the insurgents present themselves or else they burned the whole village to the ground. So we did. What choice did we have? They beat us in the village square with their hands, with sticks, 
with anything. They kicked us while we lay on the ground, begging for mercy. They made us denounce my mother and father, call them fools, call them traitors, say they deserve to die. I heard them laugh, but I dared not look up. One leaned close and whispered in my ear that he'd do to my sister if they had to come back. They're gone, but they're never far. All it takes is the wrong word in the wrong ear and they'll return. And then I'll have to dig another grave, if I'm lucky. Whatever you came here to do, leave us out of it. If you want to fight the Imperials, go and fight them on your own. You can't help us. No one can. And this is all we've got. So please, don't take it from us. You are coming a good time, Burr. We but recently completed the inquiries. What of yours? I, I was not aware of these events. The boy, Issei, he told you all of this. Such disgraceful, despicable crimes. If I knew the men responsible, I would not hesitate to hunt them down and... Forgive me, that outburst was unbecoming. The more I learn of the Imperial's actions in my absence, the more difficult I find it to marshal my emotions. Could Lord Hien have foreseen this, that our people's spirits would be broken so? Though at first I scoffed at his pronouncement, it feels all too possible now that he might resolve to surrender himself. Hey all so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video, because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon. If you're interested, that link is below. And that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.